Welcome to my coding course to build an e-commerce website using Next.js in front-end and Commerce.js in back-end. You will learn the essential tools and skills to design a professional website like this using these technologies. My name is Basir and I'll be your instructor in this course. After 17 years of programming international companies like ROI Vision in Montreal, I just found my passion in teaching programming. You can be in touch with me using codingwithbasir.com and here is the contact information. Let's see what we want to build together in this course. We are going to create an e-commerce website like this. Here you have list of products. When you click on a product, you will be redirected to product details. You can add a product to cart, change the quantity of product in shopping cart screen, and proceed to checkout. In the checkout, you will have a wizard, customer insert their information, click on next, shipping address, and it includes selecting country, state, and shipping options. And then click on next here, credit card information. And by clicking on confirm, the payment will be done and the order will be placed. Here is the order and you will get an email for your order receipt. Great. That's what we want to build together in this lesson. Let's talk about the development stack that we're going to use in this course. Here is the architecture of this application. For deployment, we're going to use Versal. For front-end, we use Next.js. And for back-end, Commerce.js. So there is no database. There is no regular back-end like Express, Python. We are going to just use an API. We are going to just use a headless e-commerce platform named Commerce.js. Let's introduce Commerce.js. Commerce.js makes e-commerce development easy and fast with their JavaScript SDK APIs and headless architecture. It gives developers the freedom to 100% control their commerce integration from storefront to receipt. Their managed e-commerce backend and infrastructure frees developer to build front-end experiences with the framework, platform, and services they know and love, like PayPal, Stripe, and more. The reason we're going to use Commerce.js. Unlike Shopify, Commerce.js isn't trying to be a CMS and so doesn't have templates environment to wrestle with on the front-end. Instead, you can just pipe your e-commerce in where you need it and control everything, including the checkout. Unlike Magento, Commerce.js is super lightweight to integrate and easy to maintain. You can be totally new to web development and build with their tech using their documents, guides, and supportive community to lean on. Let's go for the front end part. In the front end, we're going to use Next.js, which is a React framework that gives you the best developer experience with all features you need for production, like hybrid, static, and server rendering, smart bundling, route prefetching, and more. A lot of companies are using Next.js for their website. Best feature of Next.js is having no config to start working with that. For deployment, we're going to use Versal, which is the owner of Next.js, and we are going to use their platform to deploy our project on the internet. The prerequisite of this project is understanding basics of React, like component, state, props, and hook. Basics of Next.js, including pages and routing, and also working with GitHub to pull and push code to the repositories. By the end of this course, you'll be able to design a professional website to build an e-commerce website, and you can launch your own business on this platform using Commerce.js in backend and Next.js in frontend. Okay, if you are interested in this course, let's go for the next lesson.